So the left side and the right side, I have both of these things equal to each other. So I have y minus 10 times y plus p equals y squared plus 6py plus b. And the question is saying, what is the value of b? So see how the right side is foiled out? That should give me a hint that maybe I should foil out the left side also. So let's start with that. Remember, foiling is first, outer, inner, last. So here's my first, so that'll be y squared. Outer will be py. Inner will be negative 10y. And last will be negative 10p. And that will equal y squared plus 6py plus b. And here's the tricky part, and here's what you want to try to just learn or memorize from this problem. Whenever you foil something out, if there's something already foiled out, the first term will always equal the first term. The outer inner will always equal the outer inner. And the last will always equal the last. So in other words, I'll set it up like this. y squared has to equal y squared from this side and that side. py minus 10y must equal the 6py over here. And lastly, negative 10p must equal b. So let's see what I can do now. Huh. So let's see. Over here, right, I'm looking at this one. I see there's a y that's common here, here, and here. So let's divide everything by y. Then I'm going to be left with p minus 10 equals 6p. And now it makes a little more sense. See how I can combine my like terms now? So let me bring, um, let me bring the p, oh, this p over to this side. So that'll become, and sorry, I'm gonna have to do it over here to the left. So that'll become 6p minus p equals negative 10. And then that will be 5p equals negative 10. And then p will be negative 2. And the question is not asking me for p, so you can't put a down just yet. Yeah, the question is saying what's the value of b. So let's hop over here. Now and I know that p is negative 2, so that will be negative 2 times negative 10 times negative 2, which will be positive 20 equals b. So b has to equal 20. Uh, I think there's one thing you want to take away is if you foil out terms and there's something that's already foiled out, the first will equal the first. Right, which is what I had here. The outer inner over here will equal the outer inner here. And the last will equal the last here, which is what I have here and here. Then I started working with this one because there's a y in common in all of them. So I divided everything by y. And then I got p minus 10 equals 6p. Then I combined my like terms by bringing the p to this side. So that became 6p minus p equals 10. And then I solved for p over here. p gave me negative 2. And then I plugged the negative 2 in here because I was trying to solve for the b, and that gave me for the final value of b, which was 20.